Meow. 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 Grumpy. Grumpy. <laughs> All right, nobody said it was going to rain today. And I literally just got out the cabinet to start putting it together. Came inside to grab a drink of water just for like two minutes and it's, it just started pouring down rain. So, um, luckily I hadn't gotten too far. Everything's still in plastic bags, but yeah, it <laughs> figures. It stopped raining yet, Grumpy? No, it's still sprinkling. You want to go outside in the rain? Grumpy. Grumpy. Where are we going, Fifi? You're leading the way. Where are you taking me, Fifi? Meow. I already fed the chickens. Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday and it just rained for the first time in probably two weeks. I'd have to go back and look. It's been at least two weeks. And you'd think it dropped the temperature by like 20 degrees, but nope. It was like 93, 94 today. It is a little bit cooler now. Cloudy. It only rained for like five minutes though, so not much of that. Man, it put a damper on my plans. Just said, yeah, you saw that. As soon as I got that box out there and it starts raining, no rain in the forecast. What are you going to do? So my uh, shelf building operation has been moved inside. And But before I go inside, let's look at a few things. We've got a passion fruit flower. And is that another one coming? Or is that one, you know? And this is the type of the plant, type of plant, that those uh, butterflies were on the other day. But this is a poor example. Let's go look at a better one. Look at that. I'll show you the plant better in a minute. <laughs> I've got a butterfly in my, my view. That very well could be a monarch. I'm not good enough with the Monarch and Viceroy's. I think that's a Monarch because of the, the bottom of the wing has a line that goes straight across instead of it being broken up. Sorry about the breeze. Yeah, I think that's a Monarch. Awesome. And that is the plant that those red spotted purple Admiral butterflies were on. So just by, you know, Anecdotal observation, I'm thinking the butterflies love these plants. And I'll show you a close-up of the of the leaves and uh well you can kind of see how tall they are. I don't know, they'll get four or five feet tall. They're all over my property. It's not Queen Anne's lace. Queen Anne's lace has much smaller flowers. And Queen Anne's lace do not have leaves like that. Um, it's basically just one single stalk coming up until it starts to bloom and then it puts out, I don't know, maybe a dozen uh, branches for the bloom. The blooms don't, well, they last for a few days. Is this monarch going to let me get closer? Okay, you can see the flowers better now. So yeah, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like yarrow either. Yarrow has doesn't have those big leaves. Whee! How's it going, Mrs. B? It cooled off a little bit. Yes, it did. Hopefully it'll stay below 90 for a few days now. That would be wonderful. Hey, number two. Hey there. I saw you out getting, you were picking out just a little bit ago. Good to see you back on the nest. Have a good one. 
Got a lot of these all over the place too. Those are the American Beauty Berries. I love the purple color. They do not taste good at all. I guess if you put a ton of sugar and uh, make jelly or jam out of them, they taste great. But uh, straight off the plant, they do not taste very good. All right, Bob. Do you eat the beauty berries, Bob? I bet you don't. The chickens won't even eat the beauty berries, Bob. Cool. I got the second shelf put along that wall. And there's the side door. And one thing I was enjoying was having a, a little table right inside the that side door. Um, when I had that table saw sitting there, I used it all the time because I'm grabbing flashlights when I go outside at night and it's nice having a flashlight right there. So I'll be thinking about that. But yeah, plenty of space along there. Um, you know, space in between there for the little cat. Uh, I don't know what you call those. <laughs> little cat nook. And I've still got plenty of room walking space in between and that will... I think that's going to turn out great. Oh yeah, I also got my crock pot cleaned up and ready to go. I will be using that tomorrow. Maybe even later tonight, I don't know. But and this isn't the this isn't the stuff I'm going to keep on there and where I'm going to keep it. I'm just starting to put things uh put things where I can and I'll be getting organized now that I have more shelf space. Time to wrap up this video for today. I was not planning on rain today. That just kind of happened. I'm thankful that it did rain. I wish it would have rained more. And of course the sun's back out. The humidity is way up and it's over 90 degrees already. So that uh, <laughs> the relief was short lived. But that's all right. Okay, that's going to be it. Thank you again to the person that gave me these shelves. These are, these are wonderful. And that was probably over a year ago that they sent those. And I had a plan for them then that didn't come to fruition. But once this tiny cabin got here and we were working on the layout and, you know, I'm looking at this kind of walkway in between the kitchen uh, getting out to the office and I'm like, yeah, I've already got those shelves that are going to go exactly right there. And I've got another shelf. I'm not going to be putting that one up for a while, but that's going to go in the hallway uh, back to the bedroom along the wall. And anyway, that'll probably be a while because I got to get the bathroom trimmed out and I'll be, yeah, still work to be done on that half of the tiny cabin. But this half from the kitchen to the front, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. These countertops and, uh, few other little things and I'm well I'm already I'm already uh, taking advantage of and that corner shelf that I, yeah it's all coming together it's coming together and so thank you once again to everybody who has contributed to this and a lot of the stuff you send me I'm just now getting around to start using because you know like the the um, French presses I've been using both of them they're cool and uh, the water heater electric kettle thing um, man and well I've been using the Berkey the whole time although I've been sparingly using it until I brought it in here anyway all of these gifts are I'm finally getting them out and putting them to use and every day I'm just reminded of, uh, of all the wonderful gifts that you guys have sent me to make this place so cuddly and cool alright enough of that Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me on an everyday video in September, and take her easy everyone.